All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we're gonna do an EV sector review looking at Nikola, Mullen, Lucid, and EVgo has been coming up a lot. So I wanted to cover that on this one, all right? Um, you know, it's funny, I just covered Nikola a couple days ago. I just said, hey, maybe there's like a 105 target. I was shocked when I saw 106. I was shocked when I saw 110. I am floored that this thing closed at 115. I'm just, I am being real, real honest with everyone here, okay? Um, I don't think the news was very sustainable, all right? I basically saw nothing more than the CEO saying, it's okay. I will give you more of my thoughts about that shortly, but straight up, like, some rich dude telling me it's okay means very little to me because I know end of the day he's still rich and I'm trying to be rich, right? So, um, you know, when a CEO says don't worry, it's not the same thing as a regular person saying don't worry, just my two cents, all right? Mullen. Mullen actually made the move we were hunting for, all right? And I'm going to at least give credit where credit's due. I'm still going to give um, caution where caution is needed, all right? But yeah, Mullen did the job. It literally did what we talked about the last couple of videos. So I actually do hope that you made some money on that, all right? Lucid, truth be told, I have no idea what the chart looks like. So we'll do that live together. That was a viewer request. And then Easy Go. Easy Go has been something I've been talking about a decent amount, uh, more than I actually expected. I'm actually, um, I'm looking forward to making the video on that one too. So before I go any further and give you more of my thoughts and opinions though, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to the channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, especially if you can actually share this video with your friends. I am not the best at doing that, all right? And then as always, I have the links to the Discord groups in the YouTube comments. Otherwise, let's get going. Look, Nikola. I say this often and, and it's what really made me believe there was a shot on the last time I covered it, all right? You fall away from the eight, you go to the eight. You fall away from the eight, you go to the eight. You fall away from the eight, maybe you go to the eight. And that's really, really what I was hunting for, all right? I actually gave 105, I think, it, yeah, I think it was from this candle right here, all right? That's where I got my number from. And yeah, like I said, when it broke 105, I was surprised. When it hit 110, I was surprised. Closing at 115, my goodness, that, that really, really did. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, all right? One thing I did mention was this RSI right here, all right? So if you look in the box over there, the RSI was 10, not that long ago. All right. What the RSI basically does, it tells you if it's something is overbought and needs to cool down or if it's oversold and probably is going to recover a little bit. All right. One thing I normally talk about are healthy cool downs, right? When something, and look, you can see there's, there's moments of it happening here. When something is as high of an RSI as 83, it needs to come back down to the realities of normal, down to something like 45, so that it could go back up and rip, 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 right? Like that is what I call a healthy cool down. It happens on the moving averages. It happens on the RSI. The opposite happens as a stock is falling, all right? Your RSI goes super low, a nine right here, needs to come back up to a 23 for it to go back down all the way to a 10 before it comes back up. And now it needs to decide what it's gonna do. Are you just resetting to come back down or are you legit trying to make a move up? All right, if that right there didn't make sense, please throw some questions in the comments because that, that's an important little nugget to put in the back to put in your back pocket. All right. That said, to me, there are two things that matter. And it basically is the eight moving average, and it's actually the hundred. You know it's normally the 20, but I think the eight and the sorry, the 20 and the hundred are close enough that there are two things that are gonna happen in my eyes. Either we're gonna break the hundred and work our way up to this 
or we're going to lose the eight. I think it's either 137 or right back down to basically a dollar. Where is this after hours? I honestly don't know. It's going up. Nice. Interesting. You know I don't care that much about after hours. Yesterday, I saw NVOS going up, up, up during after hours. I called 36 cents and we hit 36 cents. So I'm telling you, post market is the easiest way to get faked out. I was a little excited that it's going up because yeah, I'm generally an optimistic person. I like seeing up, right? But I for real am very, very, I don't know. I have, I, I sincerely am not sure if it's gonna come up to 135 or down to a dollar. I sincerely believe it's doing one of the two. I do. So um, MACD doesn't look bad. It's obviously negative, but it looks like it might be trying to curve. This doesn't look bad. Obviously today was good volume and relatively consistent. Sorry, I wanted to do it on this one. Relatively consistent of an up on the last one. Like there's, there's actually not bad, not bad, not bad here. What I see is a 20 moving average going down. What I see is an eight moving average going down. I don't see big news today that was just like sustainable or juicy. I think I have to lean towards this dollar number. That said, again, you know, I always say it. Let me know if you disagree. Today at the minimum was really important because we didn't look green, 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 green could have been a hard red, 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 red. All right. So today was important. But again, today might have just been a simple reset to get us up to 46 to like completely lose this on the next down. Right. So there there's it's literally there's a shot at like 180 and then there's a shot at 64. And it's all going to be determined by if we come to a dollar or if we come to a dollar 30. Dollar thirty-five. All right. I hope that made sense. Let me know your thoughts. I don't think there's too much to talk about in the weekly. At the minimum, this is not a good weekly. This weekly is telling me it's going to be really hard to get over one forty-four. Um, I'm still like I see I see more bad on the weekly. That's making me again. I, I I don't think this is holding. I think this is coming down to a dollar. Let me know if you disagree. As always, you know what I mean. But yeah, I am not a believer right here. All right. Let's talk about Mullen. Let's talk about Mullen and look at what Mullen did. All right. The First thing I want to say is something positive, all right? Because, yeah, it's really easy to say what I'm about to say shortly after because, like I said, there's still caution to be made here. But Mullen made some good money, all right? And Mullen, knock on, you know none of my videos are financial advice, right? But there was a nice percentage made here that, again, I hope you were ready for. The thing that we talked about was, look, we struggle with the eight. We struggle with the eight. We struggle with the eight. But... Every now and then, we go from the 8 to the 20. Every now and then, we go from the 8 to the 20. We go from the 8 to the 20. The goal was, take me from the 8 to the 20. All right? Today was a double-digit day. This one I know was a double-digit day. Like, there was, there was money here. There was double-digit gains to be made on Mullen, and I hope you hit them. All right? First and foremost, for sure. What I have to say this, though, all right? We, at some point we're gonna close like i care less about the fact that we got over this like 60 number right what i really 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 thought was gonna happen all right what i it was about 10 a.m i think i even put a comment here Bullet point six. damn i didn't I, I think i did but whatever either way i really i wanted this thing to close so much higher on the 20 because look we are physically over the line for sure we are and this is a good candle this is a candle that started down here it opens at 52 it goes all the way up to 57 most people made at least 10 percent on this day all right that's a good good candle the last candles that were really on the 20 this is a bad one this is one that opens up here at 255 closes down here at 198 right last time this right here opens up here closes down here open like this is the first good green candle to beat the 20. i wish it was just a little bit stronger that's actually for real that said this makes me believe just a little bit more than i normally probably would that we might go to here 
all right? What are you doing after hours? I actually don't know. You're going up a little bit, not too shabby. Listen, we need confirmation still. Confirmation is closing at 61 cents tomorrow. If this closes at 61, 62, 63, it's gonna be really, really hard to not believe it's gonna run to like 80, if not all the way up to here to almost a dollar, all right? Mullen has the ability to get to 120, 130 million shares on a basic day, all right? If we can push 200, if we can push 300 million, it's game over, all right? And when I say game over, it's it, it's a hard, Red, 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 green, 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 green. All right, like I say that constantly, and I mean it, like I do. If we can break break the eight, go to the twenty, break the twenty, go to the fifty. We have failed the fifth. Sorry, the twenty a lot. This one just smells a little different. It feels a little different. I wish the candle was just a. If the candle was just a little bit better, I would have brought in an eighteen wheeler today. I think if tomorrow does what it does, I might have to load up, all right? Because, yeah, all I see between this line and this red line, here, let me just draw it and I'll delete it. Between here and here, all I see, I'm just even going to zoom out, all right? And zoom out. All I see is absolutely nothing. And then quick down, quick up, quick down, quick up, all right? Red, 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 red. Green, 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 red, 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 hopefully green, 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 right? So um, Mullen, listen, I know it's really easy to make fun of this stock. I know it's really easy to bash this stock. I know it's really easy to hate on this stock. It's also really easy to make good money on this stock when the stock wants to go up because this thing goes up parabolically, silly. All right, so well worth your attention. It's obviously been on my radar the last few days, right? So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, um, yeah, this one's interesting. Again, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get over, what is this number, 74, all right? One of the numbers I threw out on the daily was right here at 80. I think it's worth keeping that 74 number in your back pocket because again, going from 60 to 74 is, about a little bit more than 20% actually, right? You're gonna add 12, a little bit more than 12 cents. Six and six is 10 and 10. Um, yeah, Mullen, a lot to like on Mullen. Let me know your thoughts and opinions as always, all right? Let's come into Elsid, Lucid. Ooh, damn, that's not what I expected Lucid to look like. I'll be honest with you. I remember there were moments, and I think it was all about this 100 moving average. It's been a while since I've covered Lucid. Couldn't break the hundred, couldn't break the hundred, couldn't break the hundred, couldn't break the hundred. It is now starting to miserably fail and reject. And it has now been under the eight and the 20 for days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks. It's been under all five moving averages for at least this many days, a bunch right here as well. There's a lot to not like on Lucid. Lucid at one point was pushing an average of 54 million shares. Right now, we're starting to work our way down. We're only at 40. We've already given up, what, 15% from 55? 10%, what, yeah, I mean, psh, this one's not good. Look, the, the days of believing the Saudi check was coming here are long gone. That's, that's, that's what this was. I didn't forget the Saudi rumors. That's the problem with rumors though, right? Like buy the rumor sell it and I mean we haven't even had the chance to sell the news because nothing's happened yet right but um, even with the Saudi rumor moment the 100 moving average was still the line right we wicked the 200 insignificantly right but couldn't break the 100 here obviously couldn't break the 100 any other moment there's a lot of reason to not touch this stock until two sorry two 690 all right in a lot of ways this is actually a really good line and kind of the safest line right like I think waiting for eight ain't bad here, all right? This line right here has historically been a good one. It was a good bounce here. It was a good bounce here. We haven't done much here. Is there anything under that? Dude, that's all-time lows. We are doing our best with Lucid to hold all-time lows if, if this goes below that, if this goes into the 570s, 
this is going to go deep and deep into the black hole vortex that is all-time lows. There's so much to not like here. I can't believe how close we are to all-time lows. That 100 moving average is no joke. This stock needs a blind, ch a blind, uh, a blank check from the Saudis tomorrow. Otherwise, yeah, it seems like bad things are going to happen. So much bad volume, negative MACD. I'm not. I have no value in this RSI. There's not a lot to talk about on Lucid here. Let me know if you disagree, but there's not a lot to talk about on my side, all right? Easy go. It's coming to easy go. All right, what's happening with easy go? Man, a lot of ugliness is happening with easy go. I'm a little surprised that there's so much attention on easy go, all right? First off, all right, there was a moment, and it obviously was, was right here. There was reason to believe that red, 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 red could turn into green, 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 green. Don't get me wrong, all right? This candle closing here was devastating, all right? Once we lost the two, the only green around, you can't expect anything but this, all right? As I look out, all we are doing is literally what I just mentioned on Lucid. We are going deeper and deeper and deeper in the black hole vortex that is all-time lows, all right? I would have drawn the all-time low support right here. It's not even this. This is a this is an insignificant nothing of a candle, all right? Once we lost the bottom of that guy roughly right there, this just makes sense. And there is, again, absolutely nothing I can do to draw support and say, yeah, I think we're going to bounce there. This RSI is for sure the lowest it's ever been ever. We have seen RSI in the single digits. We've seen threes and fours and low, low numbers, all right? There is a whole mess of unloading, a whole mess of unloading. And honestly, to me, this is just ready to keep losing 20% after 20% after 20% after 20% until the hand of God decides to bring it back up. All right. I think it's going to be a very, 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 very hard thing to break 26 cents. I do. And if you're, if you're up here and you're trying to get back into the thirties, dude, I don't think we're getting into the 25s. All right. So be careful here. This one seems scary. And I, I, I don't care how low this looks. I see volume picking up and getting worse. I've seen volume being around here. It can actually double. And, and dude, there could be a real nasty fat candle tomorrow that takes this 12 RSI even lower than it is. There's so much to not like here. There is nothing to look at on the weekly because, yeah, what <laughs> we're in all-time lows under all the moving averages, all right? Let me know if you disagree or not, but, yeah, there, I don't like these kind of trades. I get it that like big reds turn into big greens. You know I love saying red, 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 green, 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 green. I love saying that, but yeah, this one's just, there's there's probably a reason why it gapped down right there, right? You know I don't know the news at all, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a reason for that, all right? Hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, as always, thank you, thank you.